So, we're here at Chase Academy, uh, and we're with, you can introduce yourself, your, yeah. na your name and where you're from. My name is Tygo Callan, I'm from Ireland, and uh, I'm the uh, hiring manager here at Chase, hiring and operations, I guess you'd call it. Uh, I look after all the recruitment of teachers for our branches, for our three branches here in Seoul. Great. Ty, uh, have you ever taught here? I taught here for the first year and a half. Uh, I taught mostly middle school and high school classes. Great. Uh, and before that, I taught another academy for two years. Good. Ty, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? If I could have one superpower, no, I've thought about this quite a bit. I'm, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a pretty <laughs> modest person. I think the ability to speak all languages and all di dialects, like mm -hmm. at once, there's something like 3,000 or 3,500 in the world. In any Maybe situation. Yeah. Any situation, so you go into Borneo and you can just speak the language immediately. So I don't. I mean, I don't really need to fly or to see through walls or yeah, be invisible. One. That's fine. That that would probably be more impressive. I like that. Yeah, I think so too. It's a good conversation starter. You know? Okay. Uh, Ty, describe how a common class here at Chase goes. So there's a general structure for all our regular classes. Regular classes are classes that meet between Monday and Thursday. Our week is Monday through Thursday. Um, now, if you teach middle school or well, high school, you might teach on the weekends as well. Generally, it's Monday through Thursday. So our classes run for two hours. They run um, the elementary classes are two to four, four to six, and then middle school six to eight, eight to ten. You might have elementary classes between six and eight p.m. as well. So um, the actual class itself, you know, the teachers have a lot of freedom to decide how it goes, how it's run, and um, we have general directions and we have our own priorities. The top priority is, is discussion. So all of our classes they read novels. So the discussion part is is the key for us having good chat about the book. And if that runs into an hour and a half, that's fine, so be it. Uh, after that, you know, we focus on their writing and also there's vocabulary as well. Great. So vocab quizzes. Um, and could you, could you show us a couple of those books? Um, I don't have any of those, oh, the novels? Sorry, yeah. So let's say, for example, uh, in this game, a book I've taught a few times at Chase, um, the kids get assigned uh, a certain number of pages by the, by the syllabus, by the curriculum. Um, and... You know, they'll be away for five days, so the class will meet, let's say, Monday, Wednesday, or Tuesday, Thursday. If they're away from Wednesday to, to Monday, um, they, they read a few more pages, right? So let's say if they read 30 or 35 pages. Now, what you want to focus on in the book is up to you. So whatever happened in that in few days, you can, or a few pages, you can talk about that. You can talk about how it fits into the book as a whole. You can talk about character development or the themes that are there. Um, anything you want, really, it's, it's your choice. Now, as long as you don't go completely, completely off script, yeah. um, it's fine, we really, it, it, it's up to the, the kids learning, with the lower levels it's actually the kids learning how to discuss even, sure. with the older levels of middle school and high school it's what they talk about, get to challenge things and think for themselves and see things that aren't immediately uh, apparent. Younger kids you actually have to teach them how to discuss. So this is based on like western philosophy? It like is basically, yeah, how to, how to challenge things, not to take everything for granted, you know, right. which sounds quite familiar to us. The West, I guess, but it's it's not that white, but yeah. Ty, can you describe, uh, I guess, briefly a uh, daily schedule of most teachers? Yeah, so usually a teacher would come in about two hours before class. Um, this time they used to prep, so to finish their reading, or to correct essays, or go over their lesson plan. They can print things as well. Um, talk to the Korean staff if there's some issues that they need to talk about. Talk to other teachers. Um, particularly in the be beginning as a new teacher, you need that time to talk to your mentor or your head teacher uh, or to other, te other teachers about how your classes are going or what works and what doesn't work. So the two hours before class, then you'll teach for four hours, maybe six hours, maybe two hours, um, and that's it. So after the classes are over, you put in the grades, and um, that's it. So average day would be about seven or eight hours. I mean, probably eight hours if you include in the reading time and stuff like that. Do you work weekends? Um, if you teach high school, you almost certainly will, but we, we don't recruit a huge amount for high school anymore. It's mostly for the younger levels for elementary. So if you teach elementary, it's very, very unlikely that you'll teach on the weekends. We don't have any weekend elementary classes at the moment, but it is possible. Uh, generally, our classes are Monday to Thursday, and then Friday would be kind of administrative work or making curriculum or things like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, what, it seems quite flexible here, but what subjects would uh, specifically would they teach and you mentioned reading writing it's it, yeah it's all it's all literature um 
it's it's sometimes hard to explain to the Korean moms what we do because it's basically just re reading books and talking about them. Sure. You know, we don't teach. We certainly don't teach math or chemistry or, or you know AP. So we do AP um, English. We do AP Lit, um, and we do some history every now and then. Um, but it's mostly just reading books. Seems very stuff. focused on literature. It is and on discussion. That's that's, that's what that's what it's about. Yeah. That's great. Uh, Ty, so if you're, if you're a, a new teacher here, well, what would attract you uh, most to the school? Um, the first thing, as someone who's been here a while, is the people. Um, we're very picky about who we decide to work with, um, and I think people stay here and come here because of the people. It's very supportive, everybody gets on with it, kind of has the same ideas about education, and um, I, I think as well it's a place where because it's small and growing, you can have a big impact on the way things are done. It's still very open. Like we're not perfect, and there are things that need to be improved. But if you bring something up, you know that there's at least a healthy chance it'll be changed. Are people listening? It's, it's open. Yeah. It's, it's, it, there's, there's an right. open atmosphere here. It's not rigid. It, it's, we're open to change all the time, because we are still young, and we're still growing. And, and all the people that work here, the managers, we're all in our late 20s, early, early 30s, uh, and we're from the West, so, you know, Everyone's kind of the same mentality, I guess. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Um, now, the counterpoint to that, Ty, if you were an, a new teacher, what might be difficult here? Um, one thing that's definitely difficult, I think, is, in the classroom is the amount of freedom that teachers are allowed, particularly the new teachers. Um, because at, at the beginning, when you start any job, you just want to know what you have to do. Tell me what I have to do, and I'll do it, and everything will be fine. Whereas with us at the beginning, you have to figure out what works for you. You have to figure out how you run your class. You have to figure out what works for the kids and what level the kids are, and what kind of teacher you are. That's difficult. and It's, it's a steep learning curve. Um, and all new teachers should ask a lot of questions. There's no, but when I started teaching, I was terrible. Um, but it just takes time. You just have to get into it. And you have to be aware that it's going to be difficult, and you look for help um, and ask questions. Some people, then again, some people take to it immediately. Some people are just born for it, but uh, for me in particular, it was, it was tough. It was tough. <laughs> Ty, this is the last question, perhaps the most important. Right. Maybe it'd be better off if I was a woman. If I was coming <laughs> over to your house tonight for dinner, right. what would you cook me to impress me? Um, well, I'd, I'd probably I'd, I'd try, if I could, to order something and pretend that I made it. Um, <laughs> but failing that, it would probably be... Like spaghetti bolognese, I think. Nice. Okay. You know, I'm, nice. I'm pretty plain, but a classic too. Yeah. You know, sure. that's sure. what I go for, yeah. Perfect answer. Great. <laughs> Great. That was, that was Ty, our head uh, hiring manager here at Chase Academy. Cheers.